fifth grade, getting ready for sixth grade. Lesson two, order fractions and decimals. Unlock the problem. In tennis, Jocelyn serve takes 97 hundredths of a second to reach her opponent. Dave's serve takes four fifths of a second. Monica's serve takes 85 hundredths of a second. Order the three serves from shortest to longest time. You want to order the times from shortest to longest. Did you read the numbers on the number line left to right or right to left? Left to right. So left to right. Because the numbers do what when they move from left to right? They get bigger. Because the numbers increase as they move to the right. So locate the benchmarks on the number line. Benchmark decimals 0, 2500, 5, 10, 7500, and 1 have all been located for you. Then benchmark fractions 1 4, half, Three fourths and one have also been marked for you as well. So they went ahead and marked the four fifths for you. They went ahead and marked the eighty five hundredths for you, and they went in ahead and marked the ninety seven hundredths. So order the fraction and decimal. Order the fractions and decimal. The point furthest to the left is the least value. So they said that four fifths came first, eighty five hundredths came next, and ninety seven hundredths came after that. So that would be your order from least to greatest. Try this. Order six and three hundredths, five and nine tenths, five and three fourths, and six and two tenths from greatest to least. So this time they want it from largest to smallest. smallest. So you have to pay attention to which order they want it in. So from greatest to least. So what would be our greatest? So are we working left to right or right to left? Right, right to left. Right to left this time. So what would be our greatest? Six and two tenths. Six and two tenths. What would be next? Six and three hundredths. What would be next? Five and nine tenths. And what would be next? Five and three fourths. Okay. Share and show. Locate each number on the number line. Then write the numbers in orders from least to greatest. So they've already kind of set up the number line for us. They've given us normal increments. And we have to figure out where the rest of these go. So three fifths. What can we also, since all these are kind of in decimal numbers, can we convert it to decimal? Yeah. Yes. So three fifths, and these are all in hundredths, right? So how do I get from five to a hundred? Times twenty. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So three times twenty is sixty. Sixty. So where would sixty hundredths be? Two marks after five tenths, right? So then I'd write three fifths here. Fifty four hundredths, where would that be? A little bit slightly before the next one, right? Because this tack mark is fifty five hundredths, so it'd be a little bit before. So this would be zero and fifty four hundredths. Where would thirty five hundredths be? Three before, three after, two, two after. Would be thirty-five hundredths. Okay. So they want you to write the numbers in what order from least to greatest. Least to greatest. So what's going to be first? Thirty-five hundredths. Will be next. Fifty four hundredths and three fifths. For two through three, locate each set of numbers on a number line. Then write the numbers in order from greatest to least. Okay, since we're going to use the number line so that we can try and kind of figure out where each thing is and what goes with which problem, you guys are going to use your colored pencils so that you can distinguish them. All right. 
So you need to get out a colored pencil, whether that be blue, purple, but basically you need to keep it track of which one, which color goes with which number, right? So why don't you all get out a blue colored pencil? And I'll get blue for up here. So, it wants us to locate um, 1 and 1 16th. So, basically, all of these start with what, guys? Zero. With 1, right? So, could those kind of cancel each other out? Because does our number line go past 1? No. So, we're just going to pretend like our number line loop back around, and our 1 and 1 16th is actually just going to be on 16 hundredths, okay? So where would 1600s be, guys? Right after the 15. Right after the 15, which is 2 in front of the 25, right? So right here. So we're going to label this one as 1 in 1 16 hundredths, right? Okay, what would 1 in 1 fourth be? Is a decimal. 1 and what? 25 hundredths. So we're going to make this be 1 and 1 fourth, okay? Then we have 1 and 37 hundredths, and we already marked where 35 hundredths would be, so our 1 and 37 hundredths would just be a little bit after that, right? So we could say this is 1 and 37 hundredths, would be right here, okay? Then we also have one and one tenth. What would one and one tenth be as a decimal? It'd be 1.1, 1 .1, right? But what would that be as a decimal with going to the hundredth spot? 1.10, 1 1 right? Which, where would that be after the zero? How many tack marks? Two. So we can say that this would be 1 and 1 tenth. Okay, now which order do they want us to write these in? Least to greatest or greatest to least? Greatest to least. Greatest to least. So we work left to right or right to left? Right to left. Right to left. So we write 1 and 37 hundredths. hundredths. What would be next? 1 and 1, one, and one fourth. 1 and 1 fourth. What would be next? One and one, one and sixteen hundredths, and what would be next? One and one tenth. One and one tenth. Okay. Now you need to get another color. Let's do a uh, green. Okay. So get out a green colored pencil. Okay. So, things that we can easily do. Can we easily do five tenths? Yeah. Yes, because this right here would be five tenths, right? Can we easily do 78 hundredths? Yeah. Yes, it would be not quite to the second tack mark after 75 hundredths, right? So, 78 hundredths would be right here. Then, we need to convert five eighths and two fifths, right? Okay. So let's do two fifths real quick. Two fifths would have a common denominator of 100, right? So how do we get from 5 to 100? Times 20. So what you do on the top, you do on the, or what we do on the bottom, you do on the top. So two times 20 is 40. 40. So two fifths is also the same as. 40 hundredths, right? So that would be right here. How are we going to do 5 eighths? Because can you get eighths into hundredths? No. no, but can we get a number really close to that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's do this. What would be my number closest to a hundred without going over? Nine. 96. And how did I get from 8 to 96? Times 12. So 5 times 12 is 60. 60. So it'd be close to about um, 
it'd be a little over 60, right, for hundreds, because 96 isn't quite 100 either. But let's just say that it's about 60. So we could say it's about in here somewhere, right? And that still gets us a pretty good estimate, right? Okay. So we could say that this right here would be 5 8. And once again, do they want it from least to greatest or greatest to least? Greatest to least. So am I going left to right or right to left? Right to left. Right to left. So what goes first? What? 7,800. 7, what do we write next? 5 eighths. 5 eighths. What do we write next? 1,500. Or 5 tenths. And what else? 2 fifths. 2 fifths. All right, you guys are going to do numbers 4 through 6 with your partner. And then you guys can use your colored pencils again to help you locate it on the number line, all right? So then you can kind of keep everything in line of what goes with what, all right? Okay, glad to get started on your desk. Problem solving, judges in a skateboarding competition gave scores of eight tenths, eight and one third, eight and four fifths, and eight and, 40, eight and 44 hundredths, and eight and one fifth. Which two scores were closest to one another? So basically, we could convert these into decimals, right? So, let's see. Eight and one third. What would be a multiple of three that gets you close to 100 without going over? Nine. 99, right? So how did I get from three to 99? I'm sure. 533. Then let's see, 8 and 4 fifths. And then we would have 100. How did I get from 5 to 100? Times 20. Times 20. So 4 times 20 is 80. 80. And then my next one would be 8 and 1 fifth, which equals. 2100. 2100. Okay, so what would be very close to one another? Eight and, eight, eight and two tenths and eight and two tenths. So eight and two tenths and, well, they had it in fraction form, right? Eight and one fifth. One fifth because they are what? Are they equal? Yes. Okay, because they are equal. 